Well, we put some serious time in the field with a couple replacement blade knives. And what I mean by put some serious time in the field. Yeah. Yep. Skinned all those. Cleaned all those. Yeah. <laughs> we done it, guys. So, we have officially um, kind of wrapped up how we feel about uh, a couple different replacement blade knives, which, as you can see, here is the uh, Outdoor Edge Razor's Edge. This is the EDC model. And then we also did the Havilon Barracuda. All right, so we're going to go over the details a little bit about both of these knives, the pros and cons of these knives, um, what we liked, what we didn't like, what worked, what didn't work, what could take it, and what it couldn't take. So, here we go. Let's dive in. What's going on, everybody? We are back with another gear review. It's been quite a while since we've done one of these. We've been so busy with a TV show lately that uh, we haven't really had time to do actual gear reviews. And I um, found myself here at camp. Got a couple guys in the woods hunting hogs right now. So I figured it'd be a good time as any while I'm waiting on gunshots to go over some... Uh, some knives that I've been using lately and um, well, first off excuse all the the burns got burns all over me my mouth my eyes my hand I'm gonna give you guys a word of advice do not let people throw trash in a fire um, we had a campfire here and somebody had threw a bottle or something in the fire and uh, it actually exploded and all the melted plastic landed you know, as you guys can see on my hand here and on my mouth, my cheeks, my eyes, my forehead, it was a mess. But so if you're wondering what in the world is going on with all of me right now, that's what happened. So aside from all the chaos, let's get back to what we were originally talking about. So over the years, you know, traditional knives, um, you guys seen us do a review of this way back in the day. Um, CRKT this is the M21 um, and we I have absolutely loved this knife used it to skin a absolute ton of animals um, you can actually see how worn out the blade is from being sharpened so many times um, still my uh, you know one of my favorite knives that, that you know, I probably will never get rid of because this is actually probably one of the first uh, few reviews that we actually did back at the birth of 704 Outdoors. Um, so this, it means a lot. Um, but, you know, you're always using a little knife sharpener of some sort and you, you have to uh, tend to the blade. No matter what kind of traditional knife is, you're going to have to sharpen it. Um, some, not as much as others, but you still have to, right? Um, so what we found was while I'm skinning hogs that their hide is so tough, so thick, that it was taking a lot of time to skin the hog. Then I had to put that knife down, grab another knife, keep working on it, quarter the hog. That knife was then dull. Then the next hog we'd pull up and I had to get another knife. And so we essentially had one person sitting there just steady sharpening knives while the rest of us were skinning hogs so i said man there's got to be a better way so um, my first couple of knives that i tried out were the um outdoor edge you know the replaceable one this is a razor's edge this is actually the onyx edc um, this is your everyday carry knife and then um, this is the razor light edc and I've got a few of them. What drew me to it was the fact that with the press of a button, you can take this blade off and simply replace it with another one. And so that was the draw. That's where all this started. Okay, so I just want to give you a little history of where all this started, and then we'll go into the actual um, Razor's Edge versus Havilon. Okay, so the Razor's Edge was the very first replaceable blade knife I started using. And I've absolutely fell in love with this knife. 
Well, a few months ago, uh, Daniel, uh, that's on the show with us, he gave me a Havilon Barracuda. That's uh, a pretty neat name. Instead of Barracuda, it's a Barracuda, right? Um, and as you can see, you know, this thing has been well used. Um, and we have found the pros and cons to both knives. So I actually got multiple ones because I just didn't want to do one and done, put it through its paces, and not have all the pros and cons. And I've got several of these, obviously, right? So um, they're all the same as far as the razor edge, um, the replaceable blades, the three and a half, okay? And then so on the Barracudas, um, they don't have, they've got a couple different color options for this knife. Uh, I believe there's a blue one and an orange one. Um, this is the uh, red and gray. <clears throat> but stacking the two of them against each other, uh, I was able to see, you know, some unique features on each one. The pros and cons, what I did like of one knife over the other. Um, and some of the weakness that's in the knives themselves. And so um, I, I still use both of them. I still enjoy using both of them. Uh, there's not one that I would never use again. And so I'm going to go over the pros and cons so you guys can make a decision for yourself what you want to do as far as purchasing one of these replaceable blade knives. Um, the pros for both of them is obvious. Um, you can replace the blades. All right. The razor's edge, you simply push the button like I showed you before, blade comes out. On the Barracuda, when it's open, you essentially push on the blade itself and then you push it up and it slides off. Okay? There is no button, no mechanical button at all. Okay? Again, you need to be very, very careful in messing with these because they are razor sharp. Um, I cannot tell you how many friends I have. Um, suggested try these knives and have absolutely just cut themselves to pieces um, because they weren't paying attention when they were switching blades and you find out the easiest and safest ways to do it um, sometimes you have to learn the hard way okay um, so we'll go over the basics right now so I'll push these away here is two brand new set of knives okay there's the Havilon Barracuda okay you're gonna get the knife right and then you're gonna get um, one two three four five five replacement blades comes with the knife and then you've got your instructions here that tells you how to operate your knife care for your knife and all that good stuff okay but here it is brand new knife and brand new sheath the sheath itself is just a standard uh, quarter of sheath um, nothing fancy it's soft so once you get the knife out and the blades it's you know just a soft you know case it's got the Havilon you know, logo on it and everything looks clean looks nice so there's that and the instructions okay so move over to the outdoor edge knife okay so obviously you can tell right at the get-go it is a shorter package altogether once it's uh, in the sheath itself wrap this up and put it back together here and keep up with what's what okay so when you put them side by side you can obviously tell the barracuda is taller okay and as we open this this is molded it's a harder case all right so when you pull this out you've got your um, this is a three and a half razor light outdoor edge okay and then it comes with one two three four 
believe five yeah i took one out right here so it's got five replacement blades just like the Havilon barracuda okay now again you see that is a like a molded quarter of sheath and it's camouflage it's got the outdoor edge patch on it um quality sheath looks nice feels good and it is you know like i said it's just eh, overall appearance looks a little bit better than the Havilon. okay um as far as the blades themselves you see the Havilon barracuda comes in a more of a hard plastic like a laminate type cover um, and you can open the end and put it on while still holding um, the plastic to help you from you know being safe and not cutting yourself now the outdoor edge has a similar hard plastic on the inside of this outer cover so you tear it pull the blade out and it has a little cover that covers the edge of the knife so you don't cut yourself okay so they both have some sort of safety feature to help you from slicing and dicing yourself as you change these blades but i'm telling you this is serious these jokers do not play um and uh so when you look at the blades themselves they're very similar as far as lengthwise however the Barracuda, I'll show you on the knife that's out. You see how the blade stops right there? It's got a little bit of a space right here where on your razor's edge it goes all the way to the handle. So, what it actually gives you is about a quarter inch more of blade okay just a little bit more it's not it's not a whole lot difference but it's a quarter inch more of blade on this than the barracuda and so like i said we're going to go over all the details of each one so you guys can get an idea of uh you know the actual features of the knife now the Havilon, um it, it's a kind of like a harder plastic so it's not real grippy um i do like the fact that it has such a long handle um, that you know there's certain places I can get in and cut and it really reaches in without my whole hand like this one being in the cavity so you actually have some length with the barracuda um, so when I'm field dressing I'm way down in the chest cavity I can reach down there and cut what I need to to get the guts free um, a little easier than you can with the uh, outdoor edge because it is shorter, right? Um, the blade's longer, but the overall length of the knife is shorter. It definitely is shorter. Okay, now it does have a rubbery feel to the handle itself on this one and the razor blaze. This is a razor light, but it's, they also call it the razor blades. But this is more of a rubbery texture. So when you get kind of bloody and you get slick stuff on your hands, you have a little bit of a grip to it. Whereas the Barracuda is more of a hard plastic. Even the burgundy or the little red inserts, they're not grippy rubber. They're, they're just still plastic. Uh, but they are textured to kind of help with keeping a hold of it. And so we'll talk about now changing the blades. So on the razor's edge, once it's in the open position and it's locked in, there's a button right there. Okay? You're going to push the button and you'll pull the blade out simply like that. And you can see the hole that's right here on the end. That's actually what clicks in to the blade itself right so that's how you would change it out you pop this out you get your new blade tear it open slide it in there all right so what i'm going to tell you about replacing this blade is you need to be aware 
that in this pocket here where the blade actually drops down into you see how it slides down in there in that hole right there in that little slot we'll get meat and fat and things like that so what's going to happen is if you don't uh, be conscious of that and try to keep it clean you what's going to happen is you're going to have to push this down and that you're going to start packing meat and packing hair and fat in that and then it's going to be harder and harder to slide these blades onto a point where once you push on it and it snaps you it, you have to push on this button so hard sometimes it won't release the blade because now you've kind of wedged the button and it's not going to open okay so you can push the button when you get the blade out a lot of times what i'll end up doing is i'll take the end of it and i'll kind of put it in there and i'll just kind of work whatever fat you know hair meat whatever may get into that slot and so that's just a little trick to help you out um, you can run hot water over it you, a lot of times when i clean them i take the blade off and i clean make sure i get in that slot really good and then you won't have any problems with it um, so then we'll move over to the barracuda all right so the barracuda to change the blade it doesn't have any mechanical buttons or anything like that there is no buttons on this so you're essentially going to take your thumb and push up on the bottom of that and then you can kind of push up with your thumb and then what's going to end up happening is like you're going to see how now it's off of you know a little slot that it's riding in and then once you push it it'll come off so that's how that blade comes off and then you'll see kind of how it is right there so you're going to put it in the widest part of the slot and bring it up snug and then when you push it down you're going to kind of work it down until it pops over but again when you put a new one on you're going to have this laminate this hard plastic to kind of hold on to so you're seeing me work on this with my bare hands right now and that's because I have worked with these knives for months and months and I know where to hold them how to hold them what kind of pressure it takes just do not go blind into changing blades and this stuff without the plastic coverings on them i'm going to open a couple of them and show you exactly how they replace um, but i just kind of wanted to go over it before we kind of dove in and actually showed you actual replacement right going over just the the gist of it um, now same thing with the razor's edge um, when you clean them, you want to be sure that you clean all the blood, meat, and fat off of this area because it'll end up hardening and then you won't be able to get that blade to slide off that easy. Okay, so you really want to make sure you keep these clean, um, especially after you're done cleaning an animal. You want to clean it, clean it with warm water, soap, make sure you get all the fat, the meat, the blood, the hair, everything out of it. So the next time you go to use this, it won't actually essentially be like glue. It won't like, you know, fuse the dang blade to the knife itself. So you want to make sure you keep it clean. Um, the strength of the two is something I want to talk about. So your your outdoor edge when you open it you're going to see how the back of the blade is against the tang right here right um which i guess that would really wouldn't be a tang but you know your full tang on like a like a a knife that doesn't open but essentially it's locked in there pretty good right so you can really put some force behind it when you're cutting through the brisket um, of a deer, a hog, um, you can really get in between some bones and, and break it free if you need to. And it will actually hold up. This is a pretty strong knife. Um, I have not had any problems with any of these. Um, now, I can't say the same for the Havilon Barracuda. So, this knife, if you look on the back of it right here, you'll see there's two pegs in there okay and this was really interesting to me how they designed this knife when you open it up and it locks in a place 
there is no tang or any sort of support behind that blade other than those two little pegs okay and that's actually what the knife is resting against so when you, you're putting pressure to cut through the brisket uh, or the chest plate of a, a deer or a hog um, it is not as strong as the razor edge so I'm going to show you because on this one if you notice that peg's gone I sheared it off when I was cutting through the uh, rib cage right here in the chest brick the cartilage right there um, of a hog and actually you can see that I broke this knife okay because that peg I, I sheared that peg off of there so that allowed the knife to kind of flop around so uh, unfortunately this was the first one I had and, and I broke it and I was like you got to be kidding me I said you know but then looking at it I was like there's just no way that that little peg is going to hold any substantial force that you push down on it um, so that is a weakness on this knife however um, I don't think that that would stop me from using it I mean it hasn't I mean I don't think it would stop you from using it or purchasing this knife but just know that when you're using this knife you cannot put a ton of force behind it um, to you know if you're hanging it from the gambrel and your animals upside down and as you're as you're you know gutting it and then you get to the rib cage and you know you kind of force the knife through to open the chest cavity to get the rest of you know the heart and lungs and everything out this cannot take that it cannot take that force down because it broke so as you can see it, it did not handle that force so that is the weakness that i have found with the barracudas i'm showing you um kind of the pros and the cons of the two knives um again i, I believe they're both great knives and i've used them extensively um we have used them i've actually used the outdoor edge knives for a few years now uh, a couple years at least oh lord probably more than that maybe four years i've used the razor blaze i believe is this is a little different than the one i had before the one i had before was actually more round in the handle so this is their newer model than the original one that i've had um but again i've worked with this knife for quite a while and then i got a hold of the barracuda and i thought in order to give it a fair chance again i got a few of them and worked with them and, and used them and again like i said there, there's definitely some pros and some cons to both knives um and i do use them regularly except for the broken one obviously i don't use this one anymore um, but i do I, I have had it here in camp when when hunters do ask me you know which one i prefer because they see me use them both and they ask me which one i prefer and i just tell them i said well you know i think they're they both have their advantages um i wouldn't say meh I, I, I can say that the razor's edge is my favorite um, but i do believe that the longer handle and the longer blade that gives me a longer reach with the barracuda is, is definitely an advantage especially like on big sows or big boars um, their pelvis is a lot deeper where their where their hams come together is a deeper um I say kind of like a, a canal through there um, to be able to cut everything free from you know their genitalia and their um, colon and all that so to be able to have this longer knife to actually reach in there and cut around it to cut it free this is definitely an advantage um, over the uh, razor's edge by uh, outdoor edge so there you have the pros and cons of each knife again um, I do believe the outdoor edge razor's edge knives whether this the EDC 
um, or the uh, razor blades or the razor light, the three and a half inch blade knives um, are a stronger knife. Um, the difference between the razor light here and then what they would call the razor blaze is it doesn't have the clip like your EDC version does, right? Um, however, they're both identical. They both have the push button. They both use the same three and a half inch blades. And so, let's close these up. I believe, like I said, this is definitely the stronger knife um, as far as being able to put force behind it in comparison to the Havilon Barracuda. Uh, however, I believe the Havilon Barracuda does definitely have an advantage on overall length. Even though it's the same, pretty similar length of blade, the way it attaches, and since that doesn't actually go in the handle like the Outdoor Edge, and it's got a longer handle, then you really have more reach with the Barracuda. Um, and it is definitely proven to have its advantages over big um, wild hogs like sows and boars that have um, essentially in their pelvis is deeper than a whitetail um, so in order to get in order to get in there and, and cut the colon and everything free on the inside it definitely has longer reach than the outdoor edge does um, so again there's the benefits um, of each and then um, we'll talk a little bit about price so the outdoor edge um, the edc knives and the um, blaze are about 38 to 40 dollars depending on the retailer okay your Havilon barracuda is actually about 48 to 50 dollars so this knife is actually 10 dollars more than the outdoor edge knife um, now the replacement blades that's another thing. The replacement blades for the Outdoor Edge is about $12. And the replacement blades for the Barracuda, the Havilon, um, these are going to be right around $22, $24. So um, they're more expensive than the Outdoor Edge. So on the Havilon side, it is higher price point than the Outdoor Edge. Uh, again, I do I do feel like they're pretty close equals. Um, again, I think the Outdoor Edge is just a little, you know, just has a, a little bit more use and strength and um, I guess overall quality is a little better than the Barracuda however I use both of them I, I still use both of them to this day there's not one of these knives I say do not buy this one or do not buy that one I would say whatever one that you like uh, if you like the overall length of the Barracuda get the Barracuda if you like the strength and the quality of the um, Outdoor Edge grab it if you like the fact that this is ten dollars cheaper than this one is then buy it okay um as far as uh the how long the blades work they are both equally sharp as can be um i cannot say that the Havilon or the outdoor edge has lasted longer or held an edge longer than the other um, I feel like both of them are fairly neck and neck as far as the time it takes um, for them to go dull and it all depends on the hog too so it's kind of like an unfair um, comparison because I may be cutting a big tough boar with one of them and then cutting a hundred pound sow and therefore obviously the boar is going to dull my knife way faster than than the young sow will um, so it's kind of tough for me to say but i do feel like when i put a blade on it they're both equally just be careful 
do not put your fingers in a way sharp. I mean, they are serious, okay? Um, so make sure that you are um, very safe when you're using these. Um, I'm going to go over how to change the blades real quick. And then uh, we'll wrap it up for you guys. So, again, thank you guys for, for hanging out with me today for another review. It's been a while since I've done this, so it feels like I'm being redundant on my, um, you know, my points. Uh, it's just I've been out of the review game for a little while, guys. But let me show you guys how these blades get replaced. Again, on the, uh, on the outdoor edge, it's got a button right there. Okay, you push the button, you pull the blade out, and that's it. Make sure you clean the slot. Make sure you clean it out real good. Make sure there's no meat, there's no fat. Um, you can actually use the back of the blade to kind of stick it in there and kind of work out any meat there is. Um, when you're done with the knife for the night, take it apart, wash it with warm water, Make sure you get all the old blood and everything out of there because it will harden like concrete and you're going to have a tough time getting the blade out. And I'm going to tell you a trick that I do with this knife. If for some reason it gets jammed up in there because if you let's say you get a little bit of meat or blood or something in there and it gets to the point where you're pushing on it and it clicks. Now it's under tension and you can sit here and try to push this button and it's not going to go anywhere or you can push it and you finally get it down but the blade's not going to come out. Um, what I've done is beside my skinning rack um, there's some 2x4s that are there, some old 2x4s and actually what I end up doing is on the edge, let's say this is the, the edge of the wood, I actually push the button, put it on the edge of the wood and pull it back like I'm trying to cut it and what it does is that knife will actually sink into that wood and then it eventually the it'll grab that blade and it'll pull it out okay at that point make sure you go clean it go wash it stop what you're doing and make sure you get the meat and everything out of it because the next time it may not come out um, and uh, and I've had a couple that are that were been real stubborn because of that again I would say that is one of the cons of um, the outdoor edge is the fact that that slot um, could potentially be an issue with the meat and the fat and everything getting in it the way it actually attaches and holds that blade. I'll actually change the blade out for you so you can see how exactly it's done and then we'll do the same on the hat -along. Here's your razor's edge. Okay, you're gonna push the button, pull the blade out, Okay, set it down. You're gonna take your new blade, you're gonna open it, okay, and then be careful because I'm telling you this joker is sharp, but it does have, as you can see, a protective sleeve over the blade, okay. So you want to hold it by the protective sleeve and just kind of pull it down just a little bit. You're gonna put it on there, let it click into place get rid of your plastic sleeve and now here you are with a super sharp knife again all right put it up do not cut yourself all right so what i do with these blades is i put the cover back on it and i would what i would highly suggest is that you um Get you an old Gatorade bottle or something and put these blades in them so you just don't throw them in the trash, okay? So you can do a milk jug, you can do a Gatorade bottle, wherever it takes to drop these in, put the top on it so that nobody else cuts themselves with these blades. Even though they're dull, they're still pretty sharp. So now I'm going to show you how to change the Havilon Barracuda, okay? So... What you're going to do with this is you're going to lift up. You see that right there? You're going to push it up because you have to get it over this little center section right there. So you're going to push it up and then with your other thumb you kind of help it push over. 
and so once it pops over now you can just pull on it there it is and so you'll see it's got a wide part and then a skinny part so you're just going to put put it over top of it like that and push it down so we'll get the new one here's the new one right here and then it opens like so kind of like a little envelope there you go and so once you open it you can keep a hold of it in the plastic so you don't cut yourself because again this is sharp as all get out so you're going to put it right there again you want to stick it through the wide part and set it right there on the middle and then because you can see right there see the track it's got a little track right there so again you want to make sure that you get all the blood and guts and stuff and hair and everything out of it and so you can use the the blade if you're in the field kind of like that and just see that little piece of meat that just came out of there and so you can just see that see that hair and meat and everything it'll come out of there so you just want to make sure you get all that stuff off of it and clean it real good and back to where we're holding the plastic put it through the thick part right there and then you'll slide it down and it'll clip in and there you go all done so that's how you change the blade in the Havilon Barracuda and then we just showed you how to change the blade and the outdoor edge Onyx EDC which is the same as the Razor Light EDC the Razor Blaze and the um, Razor Light well I hope you found this information useful as far as making a choice between the outdoor edge or the Havilon uh, again guys uh, there's not one of these knives that I would say not to purchase. Either one works fine. I still use both. I will say that the Outdoor Edge would be uh, my go-to knife. My knife that I would pick for everyday use. Um, for deer. Um, even for hogs as tough as they are. I, I think it's an all-around great knife. Um, for the Havilon Barracuda, I would definitely use it for um, all the species. The only thing is you're just going to have to be conscious that this is not, it doesn't have a lot of support here in the back, so you cannot put a lot of force on this knife. As far as um, it being durable, um, it, it does have the lock that comes on the front, so it's not going to fold back on you. So don't be worried about that. Um, and even if that, that does break in the back like it did on this one, um, as you can see, there's another bar in there, and it's not going to go past that, right? And that's not the sharp side anyway. So if, if that were to break and it folded back on my hand, I, I wouldn't be too worried about it. But as you see with it being like that this nice this knife is of no use to me um but again i wanted to disclose that weakness that i found for you guys to know uh, but again i would not say for you not to purchase this knife i would just say be conscious when you're using this knife um that that you can break this knife um, by simply shearing off that pin right there um, so again side by side you'll see that one has the pin that one does not that one doesn't check out on me so now uh, as far as your outdoor edge knives um, again they are great tools work great um, just again make sure you keep them clean make sure you clean the slot here regularly after every use as long as you keep that clean and keep all the meat hair and fat out of that you're gonna be you're gonna be fine you'll have many years of use and uh and the the concept on both knives being able to simply change a blade uh, is a huge advantage 
um, while you're working on deer and hog, especially multiple. Um, so I would say like on this blade or even on the Havilon blade, um, I can skin and clean multiple deer, two or three deer, because again, thin skin animals, not that tough, no big deal. Wild hogs though, wild hogs generally will take me two blades, um, one to take the hide off and the second one to quarter the meat and you know gut the pig and all that so um, I can actually the second blade sometimes depending on how dull it is I can go into starting another hog I'm on the hide but I'm still going to have to change it so regardless you're going to need about two blades per wild hog depending on how big it is and then um, a deer I said I think with the I think I skinned and quartered two maybe two and a half deer before having to change the blade on the outdoor edge and about the same on the Havilon um, I believe I did um, two deer I did a buck and I did I field dressed a couple with this knife which was excellent again like I said field dressing the length of this knife love it love it like I said this is short and stubby but strong durable this one's long has the advantage of really reaching into the chest cavity and doing field dressing um, however uh, it does have the weakness of not having a support behind the blade so uh, I know the I'm getting repetitive on some of this stuff guys it's been a while since I've done a gear review thank you guys for hanging out with me uh, make sure to hit subscribe if you like the video share it with your friends hit the bell for um, notifications when we upload new videos if there's anything you guys want to know um, or if you have any questions about this put in the comments below and if there's anything out there you'd like to see us uh, test or review something that you already know that we use and you would like some more details on it please comment below what you would like to see um, us do a review on.